<laughs> hey, the uh, volume of three-point shooting in the NBA has increased every year since, you know, at least 10 years or so. Is there an end in sight, or do you see a day when teams are shooting 60 to 73s a game? Like, when is this going to stop? Um, honestly, I don't know. Uh, you know, uh, I think the game is always evolving and changing. Um, the skill set of players are getting better and better. Um, it seems uh, every year, uh, you know, guys like Trey Young, Dame, Steph, shooting the ball literally like two steps, you know, uh, once they cross half court. So I think uh, the development of the deep three uh, is going to continue. Um, I know that's something that um, I've worked on, um, catching shooting off the dribble. So I, I think uh, the importance of three-point shooting is going to continue to, uh, to grow. And given how well you guys shoot them, is that going to be your best way to defeat a Denver team that probably has the advantage inside with, with, with their size? Um, I think the best way to defeat uh, Denver is by playing defense. Um, you know, we can't rely on uh, our outside shooting. Uh, obviously, um, if they're there, we got to take them in and shoot them with confidence. But uh, we can't rely on trying to beat them offensively. Um, it's going to be the defensive intensity and focus that we put into the game uh, that will allow us to be in the flow and um, be able to get good shots. Thanks. Casey Holdall, Trailblazers.com. Uh, Norm, I'm just curious, uh, as someone who's obviously playing in the West for the for the first time in your career, at least the West playoffs, uh, just your general thoughts on on going up against this Nuggets team, uh, your familiarity with them, uh, and how do you think Portland matches up? Um, I mean, I played them, I think, uh, three times. It's like the most I've ever played Denver in a year, um, being on the East Coast. Uh, um, so uh, I'm pretty familiar with how they play. Um, um, you know, I think uh, uh, I have a good idea how they're going to attack. Um, I think we match up really well with them. I think um, we have multiple ways to, to guard them, multiple lineups that we can throw at them, um, offensively and defensively, uh, to get the looks and take advantage of of the matchups that we see fit. Uh, you know, I'm excited. You know, playoffs, every game is different. Um, so I just uh, roll with it as that and um, make the necessary adjust adjustments uh, game after game. But um, I think we match up really well with them, top to bottom. And Norm, kind of one of the, the ways that teams have gone about trying to slow down Portland, particularly in the playoffs, is to really throw a lot of attention at Damian. What, what does that mean for you as a guy who's playing alongside him? Um, I think it just uh, helps. You know, I think uh, I've, been, I've, been, I've been a part of a, a playoff series where, the, you know, they focus on the two main guards and I've had to come in and uh, be that uh, third uh, ball handler, you know, uh, the really great pressure, get, uh, get us into offense sets. Uh, I did that uh, my first and second year in Toronto with DeMar and Kyle. So uh, uh, I see myself doing that again, you know, being a guy that, you know, they can put the ball in their hands to be able to create not only for myself, but my teammates as well. Um, and I've said it multiple times throughout the years since being here, um, having Dame and CJ be able to play off ball a little bit and, and give the uh, their defense a different look uh, without them having the ball in their hands. Thanks, Norm. Jason Quick, The Athletic. Norm, how big a deal do you see it uh, in your height difference in, in guarding uh, Michael Porter Jr. Is, is that, do we make too much of that or is that a factor? Um, honestly, I don't think about it. You know, I've guarded uh, bigger players before. Um, uh, I speak a lot about Toronto, but I mean, they put me on Chris Las Porzingis one game. Um, so, um, you know, the height uh, advantage uh, doesn't really bother me. It's about the, the physicality and, and ingredients and toughness and making uh, all possessions and touches difficult. You know, I've brought up Paul George in the playoffs. Um, he has a hot advantage, but uh, just picking him up, uh, being physical with him, uh, you know, making it difficult as possible. Um, and so I see it, you know, um, anything down low where he's dribbling or <clears throat> coming off screens, I can get into his body and warm over. Um, I think I, I did a great job uh, those games. Uh, we play against him, so just uh, continue to be physical with him. You know, he's a guy that makes and takes tough shots. You know, um, he's an offensive-minded player that knows how to get his stuff off. But, you know, I just got to make it difficult uh, for him. So the height doesn't really bother me. I don't look at it as, as anything as much as the media does. All right. Jamie Hudson, NBC Sports Northwest. Norman, you've mentioned before that players have said to you, well, we respect you. You're a championship player. Um, so with that, I guess, what do you just hope to bring to the preparation and the playoffs to this team? Uh, well, first, I, you know, I have to, you know, uh, see how they prepare it and kind of mold myself and uh, how they get ready and their, their game prep and things like that um, and go from there. But I think just uh, talking and what they see on the court, uh, mainly when we're going over our sets, um, when we're uh, going over film and um, what they see, what I see in uh, different areas that, that we can improve on throughout the course of the series. 
um, is where, you know, I think I can be most effective. Um, right now it's just, you know, learning and seeing how, how they operate, you know, so I can uh, uh, go with them and, and get into the flow of their playoff preparation um, since I'm with a different team. Uh, but I just think uh, throughout the course of the series and this playoff run, uh, just being vocal uh, in what I see and how we can uh, improve um, game in and game out. Christo Salta, Sport DNA. Hello, Norman. Hope you are doing well. How big push do you get from the way that you finish the regular season? And the game in, uh, against the Nuggets, the last regular season game, is a kind of a pilot effort-wise? Um, honestly, uh, I, I, I separate the, the two uh, from the regular season and, and the postseason. Um, I look at it as a completely different a new season for me. Um, you know, I think it's good that we're able to capitalize and, and lock in um, our positioning on uh, in the playoffs and where we want to be. Um, but it's a whole new new ball game. You know, um, uh, the stuff that I did in the regular season, um, you know, stats or whatever it is or our, our game, you know, it's not going to carry over. So you got to come in with a clear mindset uh, and focus um, on what's in front of you and look to build from there. Um, uh, that's why I've always been coming into these playoffs, uh, that nothing else matters. I don't look at the, the box score, look at my stat sheets or anything like that. The only thing that matters to me is the win and, and how we get that. Um, and, and that's my focus going into the playoffs. So it's a new season, and all that matters to me is getting Ws. Coming back to Aaron Ventress with the Oregonian. Shortly after you arrived in Portland, you talked about how in Toronto you guys bought into defense. It, all the players bought into it. Do you feel like this team has reached that same level of buy-in the past few weeks and that's what led to the turnaround? Yeah, I think so. I think uh, definitely um, the stats and things that we keep uh, analytically uh, uh, on, on paper for our defense has improved and when they go in uh, each game showing uh, how we did last game, um, I think that's been the main focus defensively. Uh, which has been able to fuel us uh, offensively, getting easy shots, having the ball move and things like that, getting out in transition. Uh, uh, but the, the main focus that we, we've always talked about uh, each and every uh, uh, game and film prep is defense, um, improving defensively. You know, offense is going to be there. We have so many different guys that can put the ball in the basket so many different ways. Uh, but uh, the energy and effort um, and togetherness on defense is the things that we have to control and get better on. And I think we focus on that each and every time we step that on the floor and has given us a chance. And have you had any influence on that mentality change at all? Uh, I like to think so. You know, I'm, I'm always talking uh, defense uh, on the on the floor, um, telling guys to be pulled over, um, telling guys to go over the top on shooters and things like that. If I see something, um, pulling guys to a side one on one. Um, I talk in the huddle a lot uh, throughout a timeout um, if teams are going on runs. Um, I think that's the best way. And then trying to lead by example and limit my mistakes on defense, uh, being the physical. Uh, defender. Um, hopefully that's fooling over to the guys and, and how they guard as well. Will you walk around with your ring at all as motivation for the rest of the guys? Like, <laughs> that's the bling uh, nah, my, my ring, my, I haven't seen my ring since uh, uh, the championship, since it's been in Toronto. So um, uh, hopefully I'll be able to add another one to the, uh, to the case. All right. Thanks, man. Thank you. Last question is coming from Casey Holdall, trailblazers.com. Uh, Norm, you did just kind of talk about it there, but I'm curious, you, you had mentioned when doing the preparation, kind of figuring out how the Blazers do their preparation, but a, as a vet who has had success in the postseason, do you ever say like, well, I have an idea or like maybe we could do it this way, seeing as how you, you have that experience or is there, do you feel comfortable to kind of like bring that to the table? Um, I mean, I, I guess it really depends on the situation. Yeah. Uh, like right now, no, uh, just because uh, I'm new to everything and, you know, these guys have been at it eight, eight seasons, uh, you know, so uh, I don't, I, I don't want to step on anybody's toes or overstep or think that, you know, um, I don't know, uh, you know, I just kind of stay in my lane uh, and follow the, 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 the leaders of the team, uh, knowing that, you know, they got my support. But if I, if I do see something throughout the course of the game, like I've said, uh, I'll bring it up. Um, but right now, you know, it's just seeing how they go through, uh, uh, the routines and, and the, the team preparation uh, leading up to the game is what I'm kind of more so getting the hang of and feel and, and timing and trying to find a routine of, uh, of you know, when we're supposed to be on the court or this and the other to prep myself uh, uh, for the day. Um, but I think once we get in the series, if I see something offensively, defensively, um, I've definitely talked to uh, the coaches uh, before and what I see and uh, if we could do this or that. So um, I see it in that terms, but as of right now, no, I'm just – 
going with the flow. Sure. Thanks, Norm. Thanks, Norm. We'll wrap there.